Hey guys, and welcome to Game Jammin'. As you notice today, I'm not in my normal park that I've been working on. I am in a test park. Uh, what I really wanted to figure out was how the nausea mechanic works. Specifically, when you're building a roller coaster and you want to check out your stats, you look at three things, excitement, intensity, and nausea. Now, I still want to go figure out intensity and excitement, but the first one, I just want to separate one factor out and try to solve the, and try to understand as best I can is how does nausea work? So what I did was I set up some test case scenarios and I'll let you see what it looks like when these coasters are going through. Um, so the idea here was to get as much speed as possible on the ride, and I'll let this run while I'm talking about it. Get as much speed as possible and then go through a whole bunch of intense turns as quickly as possible and see what kind of nausea rating we'll get. So you'll see here as it goes through, I have it on high speed, so if it looks really fast, it's because of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Crazy. So from that crazy, from that crazy test here, let me turn it off. Uh, I got a nausea rating of 50. So I was like, okay, not bad. I actually kind of thought it'd be a little bit higher, but there was a lot of turns, but it's kind of short. Um, and even though it's fast, it's just that's what the game is giving me. So I'm like, okay, fair enough. It's giving me a, a nausea rating of 50. So I kind of want to know maybe the angle of the rate of the track maybe that has an effect on it, and I wasn't sure. So I set the exact same a mirror uh, coaster over here, but the difference is, you know, let me zoom in here. You'll see that these are angled. When I came over here, these are all just completely flat. No no angle whatsoever. But this one, I purposely angled the cart out and then in and then out. So it kept going back and forth. So I was like, okay, that should have more nausea because it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Crazy, right? So let's see what this test result shows. Uh, and the result kind of surprised me, surprised me, but it didn't. And see how it's kind of like all twisty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's all nuts all over the place. So I assumed it would have a higher nausea. When I checked the results, however, the nausea stayed exactly the same. So what that told me was that the angle of the coaster has no effect on the nausea factor. So then I was like, okay, wait a second. Is there a vertical component to nausea or is it just a horizontal? Like I'm thinking when I'm thinking nausea for myself is like, up and down, some people get nausea from up and down, but maybe it's maybe the game is only measuring left to right nausea, right? So I set up another test case scenario over here. So this coaster, as you can see, is completely vertical. Up, down, up, down, up, down, turn, up, down, up, down, up, down. That's all it does, right? So let's see how this one performs. It's down, up. Whoa! So I was thinking that maybe the difference between, like, sudden uh lots of downward uh g's versus upward g's would have an effect on nausea maybe maybe not i don't know but when i went to check the results look at the nausea it's completely nil i mean like 3.6 it's like nothing at all especially for a big coaster so what that's telling me is a game is looking specifically for lateral it must be looking for either lateral g's or maybe it's just the amount of turns that are on the, the coaster um, so that being said, I'm going to set up some more coasters and we're going to do some more testing to see how high the nausea we can get. Okay, so I've set up some more examples. Uh, so we have one coaster over here that is slow as crud. I was going to make you watch it all, but we're just going to talk about it because it's already done. Uh, what we've done is put a bunch of turns and that's all we've done. Turn, 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 that's it. And you'll notice that last time I did a bunch of turns, like two turns in a row, but this time I did one turn, one turn, one turn, one turn. So it was trying to maximize the nausea factor as much as possible. And to my surprise, the nausea factor is actually really, really high, even though the ride is going super slow. I mean, look at this thing. This is like ridiculously slow. It goes nine kilometers an hour. Uh, yeah, you could, yeah, it's really slow. So uh, that being said, with a super duper high nausea factor, um, now the real question is, if I max it out, what's the nausea factor on that one? So let's go check it, check it out. Now this one I have not seen the results on. We are going to go with this one live. Here we go, zoom out. This is a crazy drop. Watch that. Whoa, 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 oh, gosh. That is a lot of turns. And the results... Look at that. So this is what I'm learning. 
there must be some sort of cap at 50. That is what I am thinking here. Because on the other coaster, I had the same issue where I thought I got the super high nausea, but it went to exactly 50 and no more. Um, you'll notice here the intensity, however, is uh, um, I, very high as an understatement at 181. Uh, there must be some other factor to get a higher nausea. Next up on the testing is seeing whether inversions have an effect on nausea. So this course, I've changed it slightly and is now slightly. It's a freaking loopy coaster. So just loop, 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 loop over and over and over. Uh, the idea is that if there are enough inversions, maybe that will have an impact on the nausea. So let's see what the results are. That had a significant impact on the nausea. And you'll notice now we are capped at 100. So here's what I'm guessing is happening. When you have a flat roller coaster, no matter how hard you try, the highest it will ever be is 50 because it does not invert. However, as soon as you add inversions to the course, uh, it can max out to 100. And I'm assuming 100 is a hard cap on it because obviously I've set up the super extreme coaster that goes crazy fast, 120, 122 kilometers an hour. Uh, so I'm thinking that they just have a hard cap at 100. So now here's an interesting thing would be what happens if there's exactly one loop in the coaster? Okay, you'll notice here that what I've done is set up exactly one loop and just a whole bunch of turns again. They're all the turns are flat, so it's just the one loop, and we're going to see whether we can hit the cap of 100. What I'm going to guess here is we will hit the cap of 100. I think there's a hard and fast check just to confirm whether there's an inversion, and as long as there's one, it'll be a no. <gasps> no! That is interesting. It obviously took it into consideration because there's a loop, but nothing else. So I've done some more testing. Uh, so this vertical drop coaster, what I did was literally as soon as the ride started, I had it invert and stay upside down the entire way. My thinking was that the longer somebody spent upside down, would get a higher nausea rating. However, in testing, you'll notice that nausea still is at 50.1, so it's slightly higher than a straight 50. Um, but it's that doesn't really help anything because it still uh, it still didn't get extra nausea just for being upside down. So then I figured maybe it has to do with inversions, and now you see this beauty, this wonderful creation. So this is nothing but twist, 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 turn. That's actually slows down a little bit. Twist, twist, twist. This is that sped up too. So has no speed whatsoever. It is just inversions, right? And if we go look at the results, 92.6 nausea. So I think at this point, I'll say that we cracked the nut. Uh, the more inversions you have, the more likely you are to generate some sort of nausea. This in combination with turns and speed is obviously amplified with a max being so so we can see here when we have all turns even at the slowest speed it's still 43.1 and if we go at the fastest speed possible it's it's 50 oh and 0.1 because i've got one loop but the trick to having tons and tons of nausea is inversion so anytime you're building like a mouse coaster or something else that doesn't have inversions you never have to worry about the nausea going above 50, and I think you'll be fine. If, however, you you have something crazy like this, uh, you can expect to have a very, very, very high nausea. Well, uh, that's it for today on testing nausea. The next test that I'd like to perform is on intensity. We already kind of got some hints after seeing the intensity be super crazy on this one. What, 128? So, um... I definitely want to do more tests on that. If you really like this content, it would really help me out if you spend the time to like, like this, and subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Okay, one of the myths I wanted to solve went all along was whether people actually threw up in Park Tech or not. 
And now I have the evidence I need. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that throw up with footsteps and everything. Let's so apparently you can still see puke from space. I, I, I just, it's just glaring at me.